Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 64, which was released on December 11th, 2018. It is the seventh and last major browser update in 2018. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the key changes that were included in this new browser update. First up, enhanced tab management. So here I've got multiple tabs open. I can use the control key on my keyboard to select multiple tabs. And if I right click on the tabs, you will see various options to close or move them and bookmark or pin them and several other options. So in this example here, I'm going to pin them like so. I find this feature very useful. Next up, easier performance management. If you go to the performance section, you can now see how much energy each open tab consumes and then manage them accordingly. Windows users now can easily share web pages from the page actions menu using the share option where you will see several share options to share the page. In terms of Firefox extensions or add-ons, you can now right click on the extension icon and in the contextual menu you will find an option to remove the add-on. Also if you go to the add-on section you will notice that the add-ons are now displayed in the form of cards. I personally avoid using many add-ons, as you can see. The Firefox Crash Reports section has also been redesigned to make it clear when a crash is being submitted to Mozilla. And finally, US Firefox users will notice recommendations and suggestions from Firefox. When in regular browsing mode, for example, here I'm on YouTube, you may see this puzzle icon with a recommendation for a relevant add-on, for example. These suggestions will include relevant Firefox features, services, and extensions. So these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 64. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the Browsemark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox declined a little compared to the earlier version. On the other hand, Google Chrome 71 performed really well. Well, that's it for now. Have a wonderful Christmas and a holiday season, and I'll see you again in the new year. Until next time, thanks for watching.